But first, it was an emotional day for Bryan firefighters. Good evening. I'm Matthew LeBlanc. And I'm Amanda Kenny. Thank you for joining us. Today, the fire department held a press conference in response to the Texas State Fire Marshal's report that was released on Monday. We joined KX HD News reporter Chris Costa in the studio. Chris, Bryan Fire has made a number of changes to their department since the tragedy in February 2013. Matthew and Amanda, the department spent more than $100,000 on equipment and about $400,000 on personnel since Lieutenant Eric Wallace and Lieutenant Gregory Pickard were killed in that fire. They now have four different color hoses, orange, blue, red, and yellow, to be able to identify which firefighters are using which hose. Air tanks that originally only held 30 minutes worth of air were swapped out for 45-minute tanks. They also changed the radio channels to clear the airwaves when someone calls Mayday. These are just some of the efforts to prevent another tragedy. What's on paper is one thing, what happened out that night, out there that night, what these men did, the sacrifices they made. You can't put that on paper. You just can't. In response to the thermal camera, which crews did not bring to the fire, the department now requires that those cameras be used. They also said the decision to go into the Knights of Columbus Hall was based on the amount of visible fire showing and that it looked like a fire that should be put out from the inside. Tonight at 10, we'll tell you more about these life-saving upgrades. Matthew and Amanda.